As telco service provider Safaricom's net earnings for the year ending March 31st, 2024, dropped by 18% to 42.6 billion shillings, compared to 52.4 billion shillings posted last year. The company's chief executive officer, Peter Ndegua, attributes the drop to the tough operating environment during the year under review, characterized by forex volatilities that saw the Kenyan shilling lose against the US dollar and major international currencies. The telco, however, registered strong performance of the Kenya business um, with the growth of M-Pesa and mobile data revenue. Its earnings before interest and tax marked history to stand at 139.9 billion shillings, making it the first company in the region to cross the billion dollar mark in earnings. The telco will now pay a cumulative dividend of one shilling and 20 cents per ordinary share, costing the company 48 billion shillings. Jimmy Mbogo has more. In the year ending March 31st, 2024, telco service provider Safaricom registered a 13.7% growth in net earnings to stand at 84.7 billion shillings on the back of a strong performance from the telco's financial service M-Pesa, which pushed their total earnings to 139.9 billion shillings, representing a 42% growth. Consumer payments through M-Pesa accounted for 64.6% of the total income, while business payment followed at 27.3%. The return to charging significantly boosted M-Pesa's revenue, with the total transaction reaching 40.2 trillion shillings in value and 28.3 billion in volume. We had an outstanding year in Kenya. And I repeat that, we had an outstanding year in Kenya. We also outperformed group guidance, which was a revised guidance at half year. Our Kenya operation is now a $1 billion business. And this, is, and this is not a top line. It's a $1 billion business in earnings before interest taxes. Despite the challenges in its Ethiopian investment, Safaricom has remained bullish on the market prospect, deepening its investment in the region, where the telco now has invested in 2,806 network sites, with 90-day active customers hitting 4.4 million customers. Safaricom's management has remained optimistic that the Ethiopian market will break even in the next two years. So in a very short period, yeah. uh, we have accelerated investment in Ethiopia. That, uh, that means that now we, we can have the opportunity to recruit the customers. Because customers only come when there is enough network. The next year we'll achieve between 7 and 10 million customers. And in the medium term, we'll go to between 15 and 20 million customers. Yeah. Even in Safaricom, we saw the same thing. It starts slowly, it starts with an investment phase. But as soon as you get a, a critical mass of infrastructure, yeah. you are able to see a lot of the customers coming. But I want to confirm that Worst is behind us. So when you see the group income or group numbers, you have to see Kenya separately and Ethiopia because Ethiopia is an investment phase and such a big greenfield with large investments is expected to have a losses. And we believe whatever losses Ethiopia had is within our expectation. In the same period, the telco experienced a decline in its core service with voice revenue declining by 1.7% to stand at 79.5 billion shillings while messaging revenue grew by 8% year on year to close as 12.3 billion shillings. And just to remind all of you, this is the second year of messaging revenue growth we have seen after probably decline of 3-4 years in the past years. Through our integrated bundle offers, we managed to... Um, bring this back on track. Despite the contraction in major indicators in 2023, Fuliza remained the biggest credit provider in the M-Pesa ecosystem, dispersing 833 billion shillings, an 18.9% rise from the previous year. Jimmy Bobo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.